we come here in the, this uh, chilly morning, but yet nonetheless uh, rejoiced and overjoyed that, that the Lord has brought us here. And one of the things I said back when, uh, when we gathered as a, as a group many months ago in preparation for this, uh, I said that, that nobody comes to Lord on their own, Lord's on their own. And I, I, I want you to, to understand that. I need you to hear that and, and to, to ponder what that means. Nobody comes or just shows up to Lord's. We can show up to Fatima. We can show up to Zaragoza. We can show up to, to Chesahova. We can show up to, um, to, to Guadalupe. But no one just happens to find their way here. The only way that we, we come to Lord's is by invitation. Our Blessed Mother has extended her hand to you. Somebody yesterday said to me, I don't feel worthy to be here. I feel like I've, I've stepped into somebody else's house or somebody else's conversation. Another person had a, a really profound moment with a, with a, a relative as they were praying, we were praying the rosary last night of, of a relative who's died long ago who had made very many journeys here themselves and how it is that Our Lady allows us to experience so many of those profound, mystical, and, and deep uh, moments within our hearts. Um, Lords, I would make the, uh, make the attestation that that this apparition, that this visit of our Blessed Mother of heaven meeting earth actually is biblical. I don't know if, if others would agree with me on that or if that's been said before, <clears throat> but, uh, but, but it's biblical. In the, the Song of Songs, the Song of Solomon, love poetry of, of the Old Testament, we hear the Lord speaking and He says, My dove, my love, in the clefts of the rock, in the hiding places on the, on the mountainside, show me your face. Let me hear your voice. Your voice is sweet to me, and your face is lovely. And then in the, uh, the book of Revelation, at the end of time, as St. John is, is revealing his, uh, his, you know, his, uh, Jesus is revealing the, the end of days to, to St. John, uh, then God's temple in heaven was opened, and within his temple was seen the Ark of the Covenant. And there came flashes of lightning and rumbles and peals of thunder in the earth and severe hail stone, storm. And so from, from all of, of time, uh, we see that the Holy of Holies, the Ark of the Covenant, was, was this, was this foreshadowing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that it was in, in her womb that God took flesh. And then the Ark of the Covenant housed all of the, the sacred images, the sacred foreshadowings of God's profound love. But we celebrate the feast, uh, we celebrate the Mass, the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, it is that she who is conceived immaculately, <clears throat> going to preach on the Immaculate Conception and what that means for us in, in the days to come, um, but, but, but it is our place here in the Immaculata that we find our rest, that we ourselves can, can be formed again in the womb, in the heart, in the Immaculata to come to know her and to come to know Jesus all the more. <clears throat> Last year when, when I led the, the group to, to Rome on pilgrimage, the theme just kept coming up in my own heart as we walked into a number of these churches and just reminded the people, or reminded the pilgrims, to don't forget to look up. Don't forget to look up as you go into these glorious churches. And someone reminded me that that was kind of a theme from that TV show, The Chosen, and I didn't know that. But don't forget to look up, to see the ceiling, <laughs> to see what it is that the, the magnificent uh, painters and sculptors and make these glorious frescoes and mosaics and make them high on the ceiling. We see the, uh, the, uh, the, the stained glass windows. Don't forget to look up. 
And so look up here. Look up to the, the magnificence that God provides for you now. Look to the niche. Look to the, to the niche in the rock. Look up to the rock to see her, to see Our Lady who, who's come for you where heaven meets earth. Bernadette Suvaru, the one who lived not far from here, who came <clears throat> to this, this cave to see our, our Blessed Mother appear to her, who scraped the ground right behind us to reveal the, the, the majestic streams, the fountain there, had many different visits of our, of our Blessed Mother. And so the fourth apparition took place on February, would have been February the 18th or 19th, uh, in that fourth apparition, something happens there that's, that's, that we forget in a way. We just don't, it, it's not part of the lure, it's not part of the majesty. So Bernadette comes, and she actually comes with a candle, and she comes with a candle for protection. That, that was the tradition of walking with, protect, with candles. So she comes with a candle lit with five, six, seven, eight, ten of her own relatives or moms with her, Louise. <clears throat> and they come they come with candles, and they're kneeling, and they're praying the rosary, and then Bernadette goes into ecstasy, <clears throat> and she begins to see our Blessed Mother. And just on the other side, where the river is, at that time, uh, during Bernadette's ecstasy, she heard the devil shouting at her. And she heard rumblings in this, this horrific evil coming from the river, from just beyond the river. And in her fear and in her terror, she could hear the devil saying, get out of there. Leave this place. And Bernadette, in her fear, what did she do? She looked up. She looked up to the lady and all the Virgin Mary did is she raised her eyes to the river, to the devil, and he quieted, and he fled in fear. In all of the rumblings that we go through, in all of the, the stirrings, and all of the rivers, and in, 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 craziness and, 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 and temptation that we face daily, the rivers that pound at our hearts, the rivers that, that, that flood our minds, the thoughts, the, the evil, the things that pull us in so many different directions, all we have to do is look up to her who is our strength, to her who the devil cowers at, he who flees at her very name, she who crushes the head of the ancient serpent, her name brings fear to the world. Her name brings fear to the devil and all of his minions. We have nothing to fear. Be not afraid, the angel says to Our Lady, and be not afraid, she says to us, you've been invited here. You've been invited here, and that's, that's important. Bernadette didn't even make her first Holy Communion. She didn't even know the Virgin Mary's name at this time. She reveals that later. And it is Our Lady who, as Bernadette's afraid, Our Lady just teaches her, make the sign of the cross with me. Our Lady wants to teach you also. She wants you just to trust in her and to look up in those times where it's difficult to know that she silences every quell, every worry, every fear, every temptation. And so today, while we're here, and tomorrow, and the next day, and when we leave this place, we can take it with us. Let's just look up and be comforted. Amen.